The invading Russian army launched a missile attack on Ukraine's Dnipro city on July 3. One of the strikes launched by the Iskander missile hit the Gujmash machine building plant, and the other one hit the shopping center. As a result, an explosion and fire occurred. As a result of the incident, at least four people died, 27 others were injured, two of them are in serious condition. In the morning, the Ukrainian side announced that an Iskander for X-59 cruise missiles, five Shahid drones and one Orlan drone were shot down by the air defense system over the city of Dnipro. Ukrainians in Yak-52 shoot Russian drones with a shotgun. Ukrainian fighters in a Yak-52 propeller-driven World War I-era aircraft are hunting Russian drones and this week added two more drones to their list of destroyed drones. Forbes reports video footage from a Russian drone that went viral showed two Ukrainian pilots shooting down their final target, the drone itself, from the open cockpit of their 1970s-era Yak-52 trainer. The Yak-52 and the Russian drone are just yards apart. A Yak-52 passenger in the back seat, rumored to be armed with a drone-killing shotgun, appears to be taking aim at the drone, possibly the same gun that made him famous, the newspaper writes. Earlier this month, a Russian blogger complained that the Yak-52 crew was shooting at our UAVs like they were at a shooting gallery. Others compared the tactics to fighting during the First World War. Forbes recalls that back in mid-April, videos appeared on the internet showing a Yak-52 colliding with a Russian Orlan UAV over the Kherson region and shooting it down. In early June, a similar video appeared online, this time filmed by Russians. It shows a Yak-52 shooting down a Russian Zala reconnaissance drone. In addition, photographs that appeared on social media on Tuesday showed kill marks on the side of the Yak-52, at least six Orlan and two Zala drones. Video footage taken appears to show another pair of marks, suggesting Ukraine's drone hunters have had a busy week, Forbes writes. When the first videos of the Yak-52 fighting against drones appeared, some observers suggested that the aircraft crew was firing at the drones from underwing cannons or missile launchers, Forbes writes. At the same time, Italian aviation expert David Senziotti noted that very few Yak-52s were ever modified to install underwing weapons. Therefore, one should not be surprised when it turned out that the Ukrainians fired a shotgun from the back seat of the plane, the publication writes. At a time when the Ukrainian Air Force is trying to preserve its most expensive surface-to-air missiles for the most dangerous Russian targets, ballistic and cruise missiles, as well as manned fighter bombers delivering powerful bombing strikes, a guy with a gun on a slow propeller airplane is an inexpensive way to shoot down Russian drones far from the front line, Forbes writes. But that doesn't mean it's easy for the Ukrainians. Both the Yak-52 pilot and the rear seat gunner must be skilled and patient to accurately target the small drone. In all of the recent air crashes, the Yak-52 pilot apparently maneuvered within tens of meters of his target before the rear seat gunman opened fire. Earlier, it was reported that in Odessa, the Orlan 10 was destroyed from a training Yak-52. 
Analysts noted that the fact of their use indicates a shortage of anti-aircraft systems and missiles, which is only now beginning to be corrected thanks to the unblocking of US support. Recently, photos of a Yak-52 aircraft were posted in the public domain based on which one could conclude that its crew destroyed six Orlan-10 reconnaissance UAVs and two Russian-made Zala drones.